right at egg here. And in the last video, we showed you to boot into safe mode so we can remove this really random computer malware. And uh, once you get into safe mode, right click and go into your task manager right away. And you should not see the process running when you're in safe mode. Let me see if I can make the resolution bigger here because when you're in safe mode, the screen resolution ain't that, that good here. See if I can up the resolution here so you guys can see what I'm doing easier. That might be better. Alright. So, once you get into safe mode, right click, start task manager. And you should see in the processes section that the actual process is no longer running. Which is a very good thing because we don't need that running. Um, now we can go in and try to remove it, okay? So the very first thing you're going to do is find it on the desktop, right click, go to properties. And right here under the target location, you're going to see the exact path to this program. We're going to cut off this, we're going to cut it off here. So we're going to actually look for this actual file, which is in this directory. So with Windows 7, it, you can easily do this by just clicking open file location. And um, it's going to automatically highlight that X, that file. And then what you want to do is you want to right click and delete it. Alright. In fact, you want to delete every file that's in here. Just delete every file that's in here. Completely delete it. And if it says you can't remove these files, don't worry. Just click skip. You can't get them all. There's going to be some that you can't get. You might want to right click and rename it to whatever it is. And then try to right click and delete it. And if it doesn't let you delete it, that's alright because um, we'll try to get it again later on. Alright. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your Windows registry. And you're going to, to do that, you're going to type regedit in here. You can actually hit the Windows logo key and along with the letter R and pull up run. And you can write reg edit. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the registry editor here and actually remove that registry key as we saw earlier in the other video. So I'm going to click H key current users. I'm going to find the software folder and expand it. Once you find that, you're going to look for, for a folder called uh, Microsoft and expand it. Look for a folder called Windows and expand it. And then here we're going to check, look for a, f a folder called Run and Run Once. Okay, under Run, you're going to see a suspicious Rundell32 file, which I seen here. I don't even know what the heck this is. This is definitely suspicious. It shouldn't be running here. And if you go, I'm just going to delete it. And if you go back into your start menu and you write MS config, msc config, hang on. Open up the system configuration utility like we did in the getter video. Go to startup. You can uncheck that. Click apply. We want to uncheck this unknown file name, this this beta tray, you see it right here. Expand the location to this. H key local machine. All right, I went into the wrong directory actually. I think I did. You want to go into H key local machine. Once you do that, locate software. Once you do that, locate. And that we have to follow along here, so. Locate Microsoft, HQ Local Machine Software, then find Microsoft, expand it, then we're going to locate Windows and expand it, current version, expand that one as well. And once you open that file folder up, you're going to locate 
run and run once again. What was it? It's only on the run, never mind. And for some reason it's not even in here. I don't know why. Which is weird, but anyways, as long as you on check this, you should be good because now it can't run when Windows starts. Alright? And it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Don't do that. Click exit without restarting. Okay? You can now delete the icon off the desktop. And if you went into the registry and you couldn't find those keys, don't worry. Because it's not going to be there for everyone. It's going to be random. I mean, infections always change. From this point, you're going to download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And we're going to run a scan here on the computer. So open up your internet browser, and if you're on safe mode of networking, you should have internet access here. So once you open up your browser, let's go and look for uh, Malwarebytes here. Go to their website, we'll download a free version, and we'll run a scan on our computer. And hopefully we can get rid of this infection here. What Malwarebytes is going to do is it's going to basically... It's a basic uh, computer virus killer. It just destroys malware. It's, it's what it does. It's probably better than anything else you can use to defend against anything. Once you're infected, Malwarebytes will save your computer every time almost. As long as you can run it and download it. So this download malware bytes off their website don't for some reason we're running into a very a problem trying to install it that could be because whatever's on here is trying to prevent us but don't worry once that oh, never mind we got it to download once you download it click run click run again install it you should already know how to install a program but next accept your license agreement next 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 right for the installation click finished click run And uh, it's going to update its database to let it do its thing. And in the next video, we're going to we'll be running the scan with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. So please watch the next video for a, for a guide on how to do that.